<sighs> yeah, hi, is this a Nintendo? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to have Labo now. Sir, this is McDonald's. All right, so here's the plan. All right, here's us. So first we drive into San Francisco and look at all the pretty buildings. Then we take the extremely simple route I wrote to get to Japantown. After spending a couple hours in Japantown, we go straight to Fisherman's Wharf. Then we go all the way down to Nintendo Labo, right here. Then we drive out of the city with some amazing footage. Pretty simple, right? Cool, let's go. It's 3.30 in the hecking morning. Six more hours until we get there. So, good night. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Just a couple of nuggies, please. There's something about pink drinks. Hey guys, look it's water out, wow. Real No, no garbage. What a weeb. This is a rich story. That would be funny if I had money. Bread basket. Time for some freaking Nintendo, boy. Nintendo hacking lava. Let's go play with some freaking cardboard. Just a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's let him into Nintendo Labo Studios to make, to play, and to discover! <laughs> Too bad for you, haha. -ha. Alright, so we weren't allowed to film inside, but we were allowed to take pictures and Instagram stories. So here we go! First off, we walked into an extremely normal and undecorated looking building. Once we were inside, however, it was a whole different story. We immediately knew that we were in the right place. There were a bunch of coat hangers, shoe cubbies, and tables, all of the Labo color scheme. There was a nice little check-in desk with the make, play, and discover symbols on it. Nice white light covered the room with a very mysterious wall that was actually a door. They then let us into a very large and well-lit room.
room with the Labo logo in every direction. We took our seats and they gave us our Toy-Con RC cars! Well, flat versions of them that we made into our RC cars. My sister made hers a fly, and I made mine a... Uh... And then, we had a battle to last the ages. But one was not important! And they explained to us how the IR camera and the Joy-Con worked. From there, it was straight on to the next item, the fishing rod. Which was just as fun as it was time consuming. We barely had enough time to finish, but with motivation and the power of teamwork, we completed it just in time. I was very proud of us. Then BLAM! They opened a portal to another dimension filled with all the cardboard goodness you could dream of. There was a house, the motorbike, the robot, which I looked amazing doing, the piano, and the fishing rod. I like that one because I caught a shark. Then they took us back to the main room where they had us put away all our cameras to tell us about an extra secret surprise. Now, I couldn't record the surprise, but I could, however, reenact it. You can make your own toy cons, baby! That's right, whip out your cardboard boxes and go nuts, cause you can make custom cardboard contraptions that do whatever you want. Ah. <coughs> Excitement is tiring. Then, after all our victories and our failures, it was official. We had completed Nintendo Labo Studio! Yeah, woohoo! Hey, this is my video. Get out of here. Sorry. They gave us our sweet certificate to prove our awesomeness, and it was finally time to go home. No! Get out! Ugh. Well, it's over. Oh, well, the end. All right, goodbye, everyone. Ah, oh, that was fun. Okay, uh, anyways. <laughs>